to today's chief guest, Ms. Margarita. <laughs> I will consider writing. I've been involved with the Northeast since 1974. Uh, and I am thinking, in fact, I was putting down my experiences and my whole uh, life which revolved around the Northeastern states, from Arunachal to Mizoram. Uh, elections, people, underground, uh, encounters with the uh, leaders of the underground. Uh, you know, it's been a very interesting story. Maybe I'll, I'll get that ready to you. Thank you, ma'am. In fact, uh, I'll tell you, when uh, Northeastern Council came into existence in 1972, uh, way back in 1974-75, I found from the record that a few uh, top leaders of Government of India visited the Northeastern part of India and also the Northeastern Council. And Ms. Margaret Alva was there. So, uh, she had been involved with Northeast for a long time. And it's a uh, really great occasion to have it here. Uh, the idea came very uh, suddenly. I have been involved with ICG Goa for a long time. At the same time, not to not to disturb the uh, original structure of Goa Art and Literature Festival in Kathmandu, but I thought that uh, since our authors are coming, and definitely northeast, the northeastern part of India, the culture, the literature. Uh, everything is different, different and special. I have been working in the northeastern part of India for last two decades, so I have found a lot of speciality, and those speciality, the specialities are to be uh, documented and also are to be properly projected in various international, national and international forums. We normally project it uh, in um, in the entire northeastern part. We take it to Delhi. This time we had a uh, songs and dances festival uh, from the northeast at Mumbai also, but it needs much more. It needs much more, and we should go to major festivals like Goa Art and Literature Festival, like, like JLF, and we should go to international film festivals. Maybe next year uh, you find that I have brought some films by young filmmakers from northeast in association with Brahmaputra uh, Delhi Film Festival, and is coming up very well and that has become an international, that is taking the shape of an international festival. So, uh, now we are planning uh, to have many more things. It is it is a beginning, not the end. It's a modest beginning, and I'm very thankful that uh, Galileo and Mr. Kakodkar and uh, of course our dear friend, everybody's bhai, Tamagar Mauja bhai. So, uh, they are all cooperative. They, when on the first day I sent a mail to Mr. Galileo, he discussed in the group and then he uh, returned back to me that all our people appreciated the idea to have a Northeast pavilion and reading, special reading by people from the Northeast. Then my we are under a lot of pressure to, to, uh, to make it very broad, to make it very mainstream. We will try and do it but without diluting our, our our essence because we need to get bigger, we need to get broader, we need to get more people. But without diluting our, our essence of involving people in the margins in the mainstream. We are also very grateful to, to Manas Mahapatra for appreciating our efforts all these years and then deciding we have a partner with our festival for the first time this year. We hope this continues in the future. And, and we have a Quite a special occasion. I know Mr. Manas Ranjan has been working quite hard to have this Northeast Pavilion. It's a starter, and what we need to do right at the start, I think, here is if we are to promote or talk about, not necessarily promote, I don't know the word, promote and preserve and you know, sustain, these things keep cropping up, but I think if you want to share literature across the country, and if you take the Northeast, all the different states as one whole, for purposes of uh, convenience, let us say, and for sharing that literature. Kavita. <coughs> <coughs> 
आप लोगों के सामने पढ़ने के लिए सोची सोची हुई कविता अभी तक लिखा ही नहीं मैंने माफ करना कभी होने की इच्छा से कभी होने की इच्छा से बहुत पहले से बैठी हूँ एक लंगे शब्द के सामने कभी होने की इच्छा से बहुत पहले से बैठी हूँ एक लंगे शब्द के सामने बारीकी से देखा है बारीकी से देखा है रंग और रूप की देह रस और खुशबू के शरीर को उतने में ख्यात नहीं हुआ है मन उतने में ख्यात नहीं हुआ है मन कच्चा सुपारी को दो कच्चा सुपारी को दो टुकड़े करने जैसा दो टुकड़ा बनाया है प्याज की तरह प्याज की तरह हम छिड़का निकाला है एक के बाद एक परत परत कर कुछ भी नहीं था उसके अंदर कुछ भी नहीं था उसके भीतर समझा जब तक ना लिखता हूँ समझा जब तक ना लिखता हूँ शब्द के भीतर शून्य जब तक ना लिखता हूँ शब्द के भीतर शून्य अनंत निष्फल प्रयास के बाद भी अनंत निष्फल प्रयास के बाद भी छोड़ा नहीं था शब्द का साथ The still tongue shall salivate like a woman. All bodily beauty, along with grains of sweat, shall go down. Old age shall go down too. Since I shall be going to you, I have kept my very own sense of sin in some secret corner. Uh, two more short poems. Uh, this poems have a lot of reflection of the cultivation that is practiced in Tripura, you know, the shifting cultivation, June. So there are a couple of words which relate to the June cultivation and the meditation and the fall, uh, a fawn and fall of Tripura. This is a poem by Pradeep Mura Singh. Now, Nandukumar Diploma is a older generation poet. Pradeep Mura Singh is a very young person. And the name of the poem is How Their Dreams Float Hesitantly to the Surface in hues of sunset. Rainbow-colored clouds hover over chopping trees. The timid bird trembles in fear like a broken and directionless bamboo twig. Uh, the last is a poem by Kishore Mula Singh and today morning when we were sitting for uh, our breakfast and we were having a couple of uh, coffee, nothing else. Uh, Mani Kuntala was telling us that she is Tie her romantic. So this is for her. Not by me, but by Kishore Mura Singh. Yeah. In order to forget you, in order to forget you, I have stopped gazing at the moon, but the moonlight whispers your name in my ears. To forget you, I have stopped going near the flowers, but the bumblebee whispers your name. To forget you, I have closed the northern doors to the wind, but the call of the kunkila whispers your name. To forget you. I have smudged off the lustrous New Year's summer from my calendar, but Fanto Paco whispers your name. Only by destroying all those intimately associated with you and all the things intimately related to you could I ever forget you, but I have not been able to forget you. It's been a great experience. I have had occasions to interact with young underground carders, Rano Saiza, who led the movement in the 70s, was a personal friend whom I visited. I was very close to Skatu Su, who also was, who led the underground for 14 years, and then Indiraji got into power. He was a very proud man, always in a three-piece suit in parliament, in the Rajya Sabha with us. And I remember one occasion when the famous Kalpana Trey from the backwaters of UP tried to summon, you know, status quo in the Rajya Sabha to him to talk something. And he kept doing this, this, you know, kept doing this and he was so angry that uh, he picked up his 
briefcase and walked out of the house straight to Indira Gandhi. I mean, after that, just about it. Straight to Indira Gandhi's room and said, Tell your minister who I am and that I can't be summoned like a dog. Indira Ji called me, told me what had happened, and said, Please talk to him and escort him. You know, the parliament is very agitated. So when we were walking out together, he told me, and these words ring in my head, tell that man to treat me with respect. Otherwise, I will pull out my revolver and blow out his brains inside my <laughs> That was the man of steel. He says, I have fought the Indian Army for 14 years, and I'm not going to be summoned like this, like that. So, you know, I realized that communication with the leaders of the Northeast very often. Culture, literature, poetry, music, and lots more. There's lots of waiting on uh, the next two days uh, during the Arts and Literature Festival. And also, uh, one thank you to our partner, Mr. Mahapatra of the Northeastern Council. Ministry of Development for the Eastern Region. He has worked uh, earnestly towards the, uh, this project, a uh, long project, much anticipated that he had been dreaming for, I have told, for a very long time. And uh, thank you, sir, together both of us have made this dream of yours come true. And I'm, sir, I am sure that it is going to be the start of many more pavilions like this at the Goa Literature Festival and other festivals throughout the country. Thank you also to our President, uh, Mr. Yadik Kapurkar, for being here for uh, this inaugural program and also uh, uh, for all the support uh, on behalf of the International Centre uh, towards uh, this pavilion. And also to Ms. Manang Dai for your presence here on the stage. And uh, to all our esteemed delegates and our speakers from the northeast of India, and I'm sure that this is going to be a wonderful three days at the Goa Centre Festival. A very warm welcome to you, and uh, we wish that you have a delightful stay and an experience with us at this festival. Also, we uh, acknowledge the presence of uh, Mr. Alexio Rizal Sequera at uh, the program this morning. And for our co curator Mr. Dr. Nauzo, who, who has also been instrumental uh, towards uh, design, designing the exciting program that is lined up for the next couple of days uh, here at the Nathis Nipamil. And to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here this morning. And uh, we uh, invite you to join us every day. We, we will be having two sessions, one in the morning and the other one in the afternoon. It's going to be spread between the readings and uh, discussions. A lot of films. And, and a lot of films from the Brahmaputra Valley Film Festival that is going to be featured here. So all the youngsters, I invite you to join us. Uh, I suppose the first set of screenings will be taking place from the South Moon Street Club onwards. So kindly join us back in the same hall. And uh, also to the much awaited performance of this festival, Noma Jha and friends are here and they will be performing tomorrow evening at the uh, food side bounds of the ICG. Thank you and once again a very warm welcome from the International Centre Group and the Northeastern Council.